In this example, we're asked to let v be the vector with component form 1, 2. We want to find a unit vector with the same direction as v, and find a vector with the same direction as v, but has a magnitude of 7. First, we'll find a unit vector with the same direction as vector v. In order to find a unit vector in the same direction as a vector, what we need to do is first find the magnitude of the given vector, and then scale the given vector by 1 over that magnitude, therefore forming a unit vector, which has the same direction. In this case, we need to find the magnitude of vector v. Uh, since we have v given in component form, this will be one, the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared, which is the square root of 5. And so our magnitude of vector v is square root 5. If we then scale vector v by 1 over the square root of 5, we will then obtain a vector in the same direction as v, but whose length is 1 over square root of 5 um, times that of v. And since the length of v is the square root of 5, the length of this scaled vector will be 1. And so we simply need to scale the vector v by 1 over square root 5. And we can do that um, by scaling each component by that constant. So we have a, a vector, a unit vector u here of 1 over square root of 5, 2 over square root of 5. And so this will be the component form of our unit vector in the same direction as v. Next, we want to find a vector w with the same direction as v, but with the magnitude of 7. Well, previously, uh, we've already found a unit vector which has the same direction as v. This would be 1 over square root 5 and 2 over square root 5 in component form. And we know this has the same direction as v, but has a magnitude or length of 1. If we want to find a vector in this same direction with a magnitude of 7, uh, we can simply scale this unit vector by 7. So we want to make w equal to 7 times u. And so in order to do this, we're going to take each of the components of our unit vector u and scale them by 7. And so we obtain the vector 7 over square root 5 and 14 over square root 5. So this vector here with components 7 over square root 5 and 14 over square root 5 will have a magnitude of 7, which if we wanted, we could certainly check. Uh, but it will, um, it will automatically, by taking a unit vector and scaling it by 7, this will automatically have a magnitude of 7. Um, and because u had the same direction as v and w will have the same direction as u, w will also have the same direction as v, and so this is the vector that we wanted. Now in this example, we want to let v be the vector with component form 9, 2. We'd like to find a vector uh, with a magnitude of 5 that has the opposite direction as v. You can pause the video and try this example yourself, then resume the video to see the solution in a few seconds. One approach to this problem is to first find a unit vector um, that um, is in the same direction as v, and then adjust it to have the magnitude of 5 and the direction being opposite that of v. So in order to find a unit vector in the same direction as v, uh, we first find the magnitude of vector v. Given that its uh, component form is 9, 2, the magnitude of v would be the square root of 9 squared plus 2 squared which is the square root of 81 plus 4, or the square root of 85. The unit vector u in the same direction as v uh, would then be what we'd obtain by scaling vector v by 1 over square root 85, which would give us a vector with components 9 over square root 85 and 2 over square root 85. Now, in order to find a vector with magnitude 5 
we could scale this vector u by 5, since u is a unit vector. However, we do want this vector to be in the opposite direction of v. If we simply scaled u by 5, we would get a vector of magnitude 5 in the same direction. In order to ensure the direction is opposite of v, we're going to uh, scale this not by 5, but by negative 5. Uh, the negative uh, scaling will um, flip the vector around in the opposite direction. And so the vector w that we want here will be negative 5 times vector u. Uh, we can work that out, and we see that we get components of negative 45 over square root 85 and negative 10 over the square root of 85. This vector will have a magnitude of 5 since we've uh, scaled a unit vector by 5, and it will have the opposite direction of v uh, because the unit vector u has the same direction of v, and w, since it was scaled by a negative number, um, will... Uh, be in the opposite direction of V. And so our vector here has the properties that we desire.